Okay, if you are creating a brand new funnel from scratch and you are brand new to the Go High Level Funnel Builder, this is going to be a crash course for how to get your first funnel going. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our first landing page. So when you go to your funnel step, you can either choose an existing funnel. So if you already have a funnel that you want to work off of, you can do that. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go and we're going to create this from a blank slate. Now, if you're brand new, it might look overwhelming. It's just a blank page. There's a bunch of different tabs. You don't know what anything does. I promise it's very, very simple. The first thing we need to know is the difference between sections, rows, and elements. Now, a section is sort of the canvas that we put a row on. And then the row is the canvas that we put an element on. So we can't just put a row here. If we just try to drag a row, it's not going to work. If we try to drag an element like a headline, it's not going to work. And that's because first we need a section. And all the section is doing is asking you is, do you want this to be full width? Do you want it to be wide, medium, small? So if I do a small section, there's going to be all this space on either side. I always go with full width. So now that we have full width, it's going to ask us to add a row. So we can do that right here. And this is just where we need to determine, do we want a single column, a double column? Do we want all the way up to six columns? So typically how this will work is when I'm building a landing page, let's say it's for a lead magnet, I'm going to start with a single column row. So I'm going to drag that in. So right here, you could go ahead and grab your logo. So if we do image, media library, and if I go, I need to remember which one this is under, but if I grab uh, a logo, let's say grab Filmmaker Funnels, grab my logo, make it a little bit smaller, can go ahead and adjust the margins right here to raise it up a little bit. Great, so now we've got this single column row with my logo. Now I can go ahead and I can choose from elements. So if I want to add a headline, I can go and I can drag a headline here. If I want to add a subheadline, I can grab a subheadline. Remember, we can go ahead and we can change our font sizes right here. So if I want to make that smaller, if I want to give it more space, I can go ahead and just toggle right here, really easy. So now let's say I want to have a VSL on one side, like right here, and then some more text over here on the other side. Well, then I can just go and grab a new row. I can do a two column row. So let me go ahead and grab a two column row and put it right here. So now I can add a video element here. And over here, I can add another element. So let's say, for the case of this example, I want to change the background of just this row. I can go ahead and select this blue area and change the background. It will change the background of just that row. If I want to change the background of the whole page, I can select this green area and change the background there. If I want to select the background of just this section, right, so just this side of the row, I could go ahead and do that. Then if I want to go ahead to advanced settings and add a border, I could do full border. I could add a red border. I could make that red border have a border radius. So if I do 15, you can see it's going to round it. If I do 150, it's going to round it, really, really round it. If I do zero, it's going to go back to square. Right? If I want to change the border style, I can do dashed, I can do dotted. So a lot we can do here. Uh, and then let's say inside of this, I want to add a headline. I can add a headline right here. Then I can go change the bold color to white. And then if I want to add a paragraph, I could go ahead and grab my paragraph, change my color to white. I can change my text alignment to the side to be centered. I can change my font right here. So let's say I want to do a 20 font, but now I want to give it some more space on top. I'll go ahead to my margins and padding, give it a little bit of margin. And let's say we want to add a call to action button. Well, we can go ahead right here and just throw a button right below here. Right here is where we can change our text. So we'll say strong call to action. Link to, so this is going to be the button actions if you want to go to the next step, open pop-up, scroll to an element, go to a website URL. You've got a ton of different options right here. Subtext, so we'll do strong subtext right here. And we can change the color. So let's say I do a red button. And 
I want to go ahead and change my subtext color here to, this is just for the case of example, but let's say we do green. I wouldn't typically do that because it's super ugly, yellow, whatever, right? You can And you can add custom colors here to be on brand, but you can change all that. We can add logos either before or after. Uh, what tends to convert the best is an arrow at the end, so right here. Uh, now we can, of course, change our font size right here. So if I want to do 30, we can change our subtext font size right here. If I want to do 20, we can add shadows. We can change spacing. We can change the font weight so we can make it bold. We can make it heavy, right? We get a lot we can do here. Now, if we go to advanced, we can do the same thing with adding some border. So if I go to border, I can do full border. You can choose to have a border color or no color. You can choose to have a radius. So if I do 15, it's going to be rounded. If I go back up to the top here, uh, we can actually choose a button effect. So you can do things like bouncing, rocking. Uh, I like the glow effect. It's subtle, but it stands out. So that's how the funnel builder works. It's very, very simple. It's really just a matter of figuring out what size section do you want. Again, I always go with full width and then what kind of row do you want? So let's say we wanted to put some client logos and we're like, all right, we've got five client logos. A really easy way to do that would just be drag a five column row and put in the logos. Uh, but let's say we had something where we wanted to put like, here's the next, here, like, get our lead magnet in three easy steps or work with us in three easy steps. And we wanted to have something that was like a image, a headline, and then a blurb. Well, we could, let's say there are three, we could go and grab a three column row and then we could build each of those out one by one, but that's not the most efficient way to do it. The most efficient way to do it's actually gonna be grab a one column row. And then let's say we had an image, let's say we had a headline, and then let's say we had a paragraph. Uh, what we could do is build all of these out or build our first one out and then we can actually go over right here where it has the purple and if you get on the purple and you hit this button right here it's going to clone it and now we can just clone it two more times so we don't have to do all of that additional work just saves us a couple minutes uh, also if you want to move things around so let's say I want to put this button above my video, I can just grab this orange arrow right here and do up or down. If we want to switch these elements around, we can switch these around, right? So that just put that as a separate element. If we want to go back, we can just click undo. So a lot of things we can do here. Uh, we can move the whole thing down, the whole row down, move the whole row up. So you can feel free to play around with this as much as you need. As you can see right there, we just switched these from left to right. So yeah, you can switch all this stuff around, uh, but be careful because it can get a little confusing and get a little crazy. But that is the GHL Funnel Builder. It is a very, very simple builder. It's completely drag and drop. Uh, we've already gone over how, or we will go over and the lessons later on how you can create forms, order forms, funnel structures, all these things. But don't be overwhelmed by this. Just go ahead and start building your first funnel like anything else. And when it comes to funnel landing page building, you're going to start off moving slow. There's going to be some confusion. That's totally normal. And that's totally okay. The more you do it, the easier it gets. If you have any questions, just let me know.